Okay, so to give this video a bit of background, we recently bought a house a few months ago. Six months ago. Six months ago. The, the property that we bought has a few buildings there. One of them is this log cabin. It's pretty run down, it's not, not the best, but I think it could make a really good workshop, so that's the plan. The workshop itself is mostly going to be for leathercraft stuff, but we're also renovating all these other buildings as well, so there's going to be a lot of kind of furniture building and stuff like that as well, so I want it to be multifunctional going forward, but mostly it'll be for, for leathercraft, so a lot of the equipment I'm going to need and considerations I'm going to make are going to be focus towards leathercraft. Um, I don't really have a plan as such. I'm just kind of working it out as I go, which you'll definitely notice. And I'll probably contradict myself a couple of times because the plan's just kind of changing as I go. I'm just getting all these ideas and kind of letting that guide me. So yeah, the first thing we had to do was just to clear everything out of there. We had loads of old pieces of furniture, there was old tools in there. I think it was a workshop previously at some point. So there was some kind of old tools and just loads of junk in there. So the first thing we had to do was just clear it out. Okay, today's task is to clear out what will probably be my workshop. So I'll show you around how it looks at the moment. It's like a log cabin. It used to have a stove here with a chimney so the plan is I think to tear this all out and install a wood burning stove. Hopefully that will mean that this could be a reasonably warm room in the winter. But for now it's full of some like old tools. Well it looks like horse equipment, I don't know what it is but anyway loads of stuff to tear out. All this is old electronics. Okay, let's do this. So, we finished uh, clearing out this cabin for the most part. There's some cool stuff maybe we're going to try and fix up. Agla is sweeping off the walls from all the cobwebs and shit. We got this, uh, yeah, this unit that we'll keep. Here's some other stuff we'll keep. All this needs to go. We still need to maybe sweep it, but you know, we swept the walls a bit and, okay, Agla swept the walls a bit and it looks 10 times better, I think. So, next thing is to get rid of this stove. Yeah. I mean, you're probably better hitting it on the face. Like there, yeah. To just, like that one's probably loose now, you know? Uh -huh. So you don't need to give it much. Right, I think we've got... We're broken through. Yeah. Okay, first brick is off.
Okay, I've been pulling down the, the ceiling in here in the workshop and it is ridiculous how much bigger this place looks. I don't know how well it's going to translate onto, onto the video, but there is so much more room to move around in here. It makes this room feel twice the size. Obviously it's not twice the size. I still have a couple of boards to pull down, but basically that's it. Um, I just wanted to explain something. So my wife was asking me why I would do this after I'd done the floor and make a terrible mess of the floor. Um, when I started this, there was literally three feet of snow all around the workshop. It was in, in winter and the reason this was full of sawdust up, to here, up here was insulation. So it was providing an extra bit of warmth uh, in here. So that's why I kept it. It's a pain in the ass to have to sweep this up off of my nice new flooring, but yeah, I mean, it's it's just a much better alternative than uh, working. I, I couldn't have done this in the, in the winter. It would have been too cold. And I think with that flat floor in there, it's much easier to sweep everything anyway. So yeah, um, that's the reason why I've done it that way. So now that I've pulled out the ceiling, I'll tidy everything up in here sweep everything up. Either I'll start on the roof, repairing the roof. There's some major work needs done on the roof. It's also asbestos, so I need to replace the roof completely. But it's a relatively small area, so it's okay. I'm also gonna pull out this chimney. A lot of work still needs done, but I think next thing I'll do is to build a workbench. So for the first and probably not last time, I lost an entire segment of video for for this part. So me building that workbench is completely gone. I have no idea what happened to it. I filmed it all, all of these detailed shots. It took a long time to film, but for some reason it's just completely gone. I have no idea what happened to it. So the only shot I have is of me struggling to fit this lower shelf. Uh, but you can kind of see the construction of it, I guess. So the vertical posts here, they're 100 by 100 millimeters. The horizontal ones are all 50 by 100 millimeters, which more or less is like four by fours for the uprights and two by fours for the horizontals. It's nothing complicated, you know. I cut out little recesses for, for the, the horizontal ones and I also fitted them with lag bolts. Like all of my woodwork, it's pretty shoddy. There's gaps everywhere. That's why I kind of went for that design where the join has some strength and the, the fasteners itself has, has some strength. It's not complicated. You can kind of work out how I made it, but unfortunately, yeah, this is the only footage I have. Okay, so I finally finished the, the workbench. Took, uh, took a lot longer than I thought it would, but that's kind of been the case with everything here. So I think I should just get used to that. Uh, it took me a full day to do, to do the workbench, which is unfortunate, but okay. So, yeah, here, here it is. Um, at the moment, the, the top is just OSB. Um, not a huge fan of it, but uh, it's fine for now. Um, the dimensions, this is uh, that's 600 mil deep, which is the same as my kitchen counter in, in our apartment. So... I think that's kind of standard size here for kitchen countertops, so I thought maybe that could be useful. I don't know, I'll, I'll have a look at other options, but I'd like to have something quite durable there, and kitchen counter seems like, like a pretty good option. But I'll see, I have a lot of wood around here as well, if I could maybe plane some of that, if I could maybe find a way of planing some of that down, I could maybe make a tabletop, but I don't know, for, for now the, the OSB is fine. I made it uh, two and a half meters long, so this is a full full sheet of OSB. It doesn't need to be that long. Um, the reason I did so are because these, it's just the way it worked out with the sizes. So you saw me reinforce the floor earlier. Um, so I put in the cross beams there and each of these legs uh, lands on one of those cross beams. So it's, it's kind of supported. This is just OSB on the floor. So it's not the sturdiest, but having a support on each of those legs uh, should be enough and yeah, that's why it's so long. I wouldn't have made it this long normally, but it just worked out better with the sizes to have with uh, three legs spaced that way. Um, yeah, so it's four by fours and two by fours that it's made of. I'll 
arrange all the tool storage and stuff. I'll try and have everything up on a wall and shelves and things, but I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to leave it as the logs or if I'm going to try and frame it out a little bit to to make shelves. I, I don't know yet, so yeah, small steps. At least now I have a workbench I can start actually doing some some work in here because I'm really falling behind. But that's how it goes. That's how it always goes. Okay, I hadn't really intended on splitting this video up into different parts, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do for now. I said this already, I think, but I really need to just crack on with with actually doing some work in here. So I have I have a workbench just now, so this seems like a good place to, to leave it for now. The roof is still leaking, which is definitely a problem. We're supposed to have slightly nicer weather coming up, so hopefully that's fine for now. I'll patch up what I need to patch up. Um, with the roof I can't do it on my own, I'll need some help for that, so it's just trying to schedule some help at a time where the weather's decent to actually take the roof off and replace it. So that'll be the next video, um, I'll get started on that, but for now I at least have a place to work. And uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you again next week.